Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Greg Poehler, thank you so much for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live on KKVI FM Radio, The Valder Beebe Show. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's my pleasure. I want my audience to know that Greg Poehler is back with the second season of TV's first polyromantic comedy. And those of you who told me on Facebook you had no idea what polyromantic was, Greg's going to tell you guys. Greg, hey, I, get, I had some confused people. They didn't know what polyromantic was. I know, but you tell them. Well, I, to be honest, I wasn't so familiar with it myself before I got this role. And, um, you know, there, is, there are a lot of polyamorous, polyromantic relationships happening uh, as we speak all throughout the country and the world. And it's really just a, a, a term for a relationship between more than two people. It can be three. It can be more. Uh, but it's generally a three-person uh, relationship, from what I understand. That's from what I understand also, because I kind of uh, refer them to see uh, Sister Wives on TV and to do a little bit of searching and all of that kind of stuff. Why, uh, um, why are you doing so well in the second season of this show? Because it's highly romantic, or you're just that great? Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's because <laughs> I'm just that great, from what I've been hearing. Um, <laughs> that's the consensus. Uh, but no, I, I, I do think that it's, I think the show, when you first uh, encounter the, you know, the subject matter or think about the, the subject matter of you, me, her, it does feel very kind of controversial or, or, or um, tawdry in, in some sense with a, a married couple bringing a, a woman into their relationship. But I think the show really plays out differently, and it's and it's surprising. Most viewers, that's the the, the word we keep hearing among uh, the people who watch the show, is that it's surprising. It's surprisingly sweet. It's surprisingly touching, and it's surprisingly normal. Um, it's really this this normal suburban couple that finds themselves in this <clears throat> situation that they never dreamed that they would be in. So, if this goes mainstream, I believe it's going on. I, I just don't think people had a title for it. Uh, at one point in time, they probably call it cheating or a third party or something like that. This goes mainstream. Are you going to take credit for it? Absolutely. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> I am going to. <laughs> I have become uh, somehow the spokesman for the uh, polyamorous community, which my wife is not thrilled about. But um, no, I, I, I think for us, and the que we're not trying to pass judgment on, on whether you know, these type of relationships are, are acceptable or whether they're actually, or whether they can work. Um, we're just trying to portray something that is happening, as you said. Um, and when you work backwards from, if, if you start with, you know, if three people, if three consenting adults all um, are in love and want to continue on with a relationship, why can't that happen? Um, that's really where the show starts. And, and um, that's what we're still trying to figure out in, in season two. I know it's a comedy, but, you know, you're really hitting upon culture in this. I, I don't know if it's just masked in comedy, you know, because there's a shift. You know, there's a, a special coming on uh, 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 about gender with Katie Couric. You know, there's him, her, and now you have people who choose the box of other. There's a big shift going on. And uh, I think polyamorous and polyromantic, I think, is a part of that shift. And so you are changing culture, or you're being a part of that change. But tell me about the funny side of the show. <laughs> well, I mean, I think the show, it, it, it is a comedy. I think um, it, John Scott Shepard, who, who is the writer and creator of the show, really wanted to set a, light, a lighter tone. And I think 
you know, if you have these three person relationships, there is, there is, they're, they're by their very nature odd. Um, they're quite literally odd. And so there is always one person that's kind of um, on the outs. And I think the humor in this situation comes from a suburban couple who, like I said, never expected to be in this situation and um, at least initially are trying to hide it from their friends and family while they figure things out. And then season two, uh, which premieres uh, on Valentine's Day, really picks up where that left off. And they're, now they're starting their relationship. And there's a lot of humor in, in, a, in a, a suburban couple, uh, a middle-aged suburban couple suddenly trying to be cool. Um, so I think that's, that's where we play off a lot of. Well, I think this, this is a great opportunity for us to see more of you in season two. And also, too, your sister is the producer behind this, Amy Palmer? Uh, no, she, she produced my previous show, Welcome to Sweden. But ah. uh, um, this one, she's just a, a, a very innocent bystander who, who watches <laughs> <laughs> with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> when can we watch you? I think because, uh, uh, hopefully, more people, because I've been talking about this for about a week and you coming on the show, hopefully more people want to tune in and see what you guys are about. So when do you want us to watch? Um, you can watch it anytime on, on uh, uh, DirecTV now, um, but um, the season two premieres on Tuesday, February 14th at 8.30, that's Valentine's Day, on uh, AT&T Audience Network. So um, find us, find us and watch, and uh, I, I promise that, uh, that you'll, you'll be entertained and um, that uh, hopefully we're, we're showing a, a something that's, that's going on um, in, a, in, a, in a fun and, and kind of light way. And you're going to make us laugh because you're a funny guy, Greg Poehler. Thank you so much for talking about your show and uh, just being so forthcoming. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thanks for spreading the word. No problem, Greg Poehler. He's my guest today, Direct TV's You, Me, and Her. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, Valor.